Vamos a ver, para cambiar totalmente de tema ya y, y, y ponernos ya de buen rollo, vemos... Ahí me saltó la notificación el otro día, ¿vale? Porque sabéis que Kaplan América es un puto crack, hablando malamente. Vi que tenían, lo ve la Gas Gas 2023 eh, con el motor BRC500, ¿vale? Tienen dos vídeos, uno de 7 minutos y otro de 2. ¿vale? Vamos a verlo, le he echado un vistacillo, vamos a quitar la música sin copyright y le echamos un vistacillo y lo comentamos a ver a ver qué parece por aquí a ver anuncio de rigor vale Not his first rodeo on a 500, 500, his first rodeo on the 509. Yo lo sé porque como te lo había dicho, estiras la marcha y va la moto, pero sin esforzarte, va boom y te levanta. Pero no necesitas de tú decir, voy a levantar. But uh, like I said, he's he's ridden 500s for a while, so he's familiar to what 50 plus rear wheel horsepower is like. Guys, let me introduce you to the luckiest guy in the planet here. The luckiest guy's father, son, team. This is Sean. Sean, how you doing? How's it going? I, I think he's going to be the primary rider, but I don't know. poner los subtítulos que me entere. En español. Español. Traducir automáticamente. Español de España. Aquí estamos. Venga. Wouldn't underestimate his pops, so I'll be riding. Uh, he's going to be riding it too, I'll so the um, father, son, team, like Junior and I, that ride together. Oh, what are you primary riding? 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 Guys, father, son, team, this is Sean. Sean, how you doing? How's it going? I, I think he's going to be the primary rider, but I don't know. I'm going to underestimate his pops. So. Uh, he's going to be riding it too. So. The, um, father, son, team, like Junior and I, that ride together. I wonder if primary rides before you got the uh, 509. Oh, I got a Quadzo and a Banshee. And I just used a big board, yeah, two-stroke set. I've been riding bikes for quite a while. How about yourself? What, what are your other? O sea, es un fanático de los motores I, gordos. I had a YZ250 years ago, and I've been riding different ones. Been, uh, trading and swapping and uh, selling different bikes. So, so, what do you think of the 509? It's it's definitely badass. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you rip it, rip it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, up the, uh, it's definitely fast. Trail, it sounded pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, no doubt. I, I got a chance to ride it. Obviously, we've done a bunch of videos on it. Right. We've got the same tune to perfection. Jeff spent about two days working on the mapping for it, and the, the power delivery o sea, is just eh, off the hook. Currado, you no? don't have Pero to ride it. Have to drive it at like 3,000 yeah. RPM in third or fourth and just crack the throttle, and it'll just eat. It, uh, he's got the timing and the, the uh, o sea, mapping perfectly, so it's, it's got power synchronizando, programando, el, el mapeo, um, entiendo que es el CDI, yeah, la historia. The one thing I would like to try with it... Uh, and I, I might suggest at some point you guys try it out. Just go two teeth smaller on the rear sprocket or one larger on the front. Let's see if you get for a top speed up to 100 miles an hour. Right now it's geared to do about 85. If you went up one tooth in the front, I think you'd top 100 miles an hour. Claro, que depende, no sabemos para qué carrera es. Si es para algo tipo cross-country. We did quite a bit of testing with it. Like I said, we've got it to 56 plus, 56 and change at the rear wheel. De esta que son por el desierto, que por ahí arriba se hace mucho. 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 And you've got the six-speed. You've got the electric start. It is counterbalanced. You notice the lack of vibration on it compared to yeah, more 500. Yeah. So, well, I wish you the best of luck. It's uh, really 
a very exclusive bike. This is the first one in the United States to get the 509 kit. They've produced about 200 of these. Most of them have been on, on the Husqvarna or, or KTM products, which are very similar to this, both in domestic and overseas. But this is the first gas gas, and in my opinion, the best gas gas one. Con el motor uh, I just so partial to the red. Nothing against orange or white, but this this red just pops. And, and did I, que le gusta más al Kaplan el la gaga que la Uvarna y la KTM. Look at this thing. These are a chrome chrome embedded graphics here that Christy did. Wide open throttle. We <laughs> went fast. <laughs> this is Steiger Graphics. Uh, there's only one of these graphic kits on the planet. It's custom kit number 0054. Christy also made an, another special kit for you guys. That was your I had a, a, a memorial. El Kaplan tiene una pinta el tío de ser un personaje en el buen sentido de la palabra, eh, un tío auténtico. Oye, lo mismo en cualquier momento vuelve el chaval, pero yo lo veo por aquí. Riley Will es el mastermind detrás de este kit, con ayuda de Millar Race Engineering. Adam Millar himself, who built Kenny's last race engine, they designed this 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 machine, and uh, it is absolutely sets a it sets a new it sets a new standard and blows anything out of the water. A mí me gustaría tener uno delante, o sea, como ha dicho before, que vivirá mucho menos que la CR500, uh, me gustaría de verlo. In many different ways, uh, mainly mainly the, the counterbalance, the six la, speed, la CR500, the fuel injection, la que vibra, uh, eh. the modern chassis, vibra everything mucho. about it. Now I've got a the, the the closest thing to this would be AJ Wagoner. Built500.com on the AF500s, which uh, you've seen, I have some of those which are absolutely beautiful, but uh, we don't have one of those that comes from the factory with, with, with lights I've... like the CR500E used to, they used to make, but Honda doesn't make that anymore. Claro, so this funciona... is, you know, having claro, a speedometer, a odometer, a trip todo, meter, todo, uh, the headlights, the taillight, uh, the kickstand, um, it really, This is a, a, this is a con una moto de esta con el motor de 500, imagináis? Como el tiempo hacemos con Vilani, se da cuenta. Straight up. <laughs> you could enduro it. You could cross country it. You could do J-Day off-road events. You could uh, go to Sand Mountain on it um, and, and, and ride it in the dunes. It's a very versatile package and it's got a lot of power down low. So you don't have to be at 56 rear wheel no? horsepower. Mira, que se ve otra vez, you can ¿no? <laughs> pull along <laughs> at 3,000 RPM like 30, 35 horsepower. It'll pull it. So, um, just an Totalmente. awesome piece. Uh, proud to be the first uh, shop in the United States of America to build one of these. And uh, the whole process is documented on our YouTube channel, so check it out. And Sean, I wish you I wish <laughs> you the best. Thank you for uh, you your dream bike. I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, you know, how many father, sons, uh, Partiendo de la base que lo vendían en el motor por 7,500 dólares, creo. Dólares canadienses. He's 40 years old, how old are you? I'm 68. 68. So, uh, you guys got a few years. For a few years. Yeah, you got 10 years ahead, ahead of your, uh, Junior and I. But, um, in, Pero qué guay, tiene una carrera padre e hijo. Será algo tipo resistencia. That's what it's all about, you know, the family sport, uh, riding with your friends and family and, and uh, having that common bond. Yo tengo 68, no way. So, uh, man, these graphics. Did you get a view from this side over here? Look, look at how nice she did here with with the American flag and the, the, the number one and that, that number one she always makes the number ones removable that's got chrome in it um, BRC 509 wide open throttle it's freaking beautiful man really proud of this bike and uh, I hope you have years of good use with it and enjoy it and, uh, thanks for uh, thanks again for trusting us to, to build this for you hey, I'm, I'm glad to be here I'm glad to do business with you. I'm just very impressed over the bike itself. It's very, I'm very impressionado, I'm impressionante. Guys, if you want to get one, give us a call at 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching. God bless America. A ver, a ver el video del otro de dos minutos. A ver. Este. What's up, fellas? Feast your eyes on a 2023 eh, Gas Gas 509 ¿no? BRC. Eh, espera, los subtítulos. Los subtítulos. En español. Español, 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 aquí está. Vale. What's up, fellas? Feast your eyes on a 2023 Gas Gas 509 gas, gas. BRC. This is the fastest production two-stroke 500 that we've tested yet by a considerable no, no, amount. This thing's putting down 56 rear wheel horsepower. It is an absolute monster. 42 foot pound of torque. This thing is bristling with trickery from front to back let's start up talk about the heart of the beast made in canada brc 
has constructed what is the most claro, modern two stroke 500 made. It's counterbalanced, moderno, so there's no vibration. Peso, Obviously, no liquid cool, six speed ah, no transmission, peso. fuel injected, so you can change the mapping on it. And it's a six speed. Did I say it's a six right. speed? So it has an overdrive. The thing's an absolute, absolutely work of art. Uh, it is very similar in color to the Honda CR Blood Red, which is one of my favorite colors. So the the, the um, curb appeal on it is just beautiful. The graphics were done by Chrissy Steiger. It's a one-off graphic kit. The mapping on this, BRC sends them with a standard map. We took a dyno tuner and mapped it to get the jetting or the mapping perfect from right off idle right up to red line. This thing will, cr will crack a wheelie at 3,000 RPM and, and ride it all the way through six gear. It's an absolute monster. Kyle, you, um, you've been with us through every step of the, 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 the project. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, this is just the total, the most modern two-stroke 500 there is today. It's got fuel injection, electric start, six speed. I mean, it's, ro it's street legal. This is just, this is the 500 to have. If, if there's a 500 you want to buy, this is the one right here, honestly. It's just... If you have any questions or you want to uh, sign up for a Gas Gas 509 BRC, give us a call, 860-454-7024. This is a 91.5 millimeter uh, 500 piston. There are, excuse me, it's a 90 millimeter and there's three overboards with, with the largest being 91.5. This bike can be easily boosted to 533 cc if you want to go with what we would call the stage four kit we haven't dynoed one of those yet but we've got one in the works so stay tuned we're, we're thinking in, in the mid 60s when when uh when we're when it's finally done imported and everything but this is this is the the base brc 509 um it's just it comes with a white power wp exact suspension front and rear it's uh just just an incredible piece oh did we mention it has a uh, electric start a lighting coil so you can register it for the street it has a headlight and a tail light and uh, an oversized fuel tank but you can actually see the fuel through the side of it just a beautiful piece again if you have any questions give us a call thanks for watching and as always god bless america the world Qué locura tener una 500 matriculada, eh, bueno ellos dicen legal, legal o ilegal, como lo quieras llamar, pero locura total, tío, locura total. Qué puta pasada, macho, qué puta pasada, ¿os imagináis? Yo conozco un amigo de internet, de redes sociales, de eh, catalán, de Barcelona, hace unos años, eh, lo, hizo una AF, ha hecho varias, y lo metió en un chasis FRF cuatro y medio matriculado, y el iba a la ITV y la pasaba, tío. El IVA la ITV la pasaba. Pero entiendo que, bueno, porque no entenderá el que el que pille y mientras esté todo lo demás bien, luz y tal, pues no se dará ni cuenta. Pero él pasaba la ITV, tío. Con una eh, CRF 4 y medio, digamos, con motor de 500, tío, de CR500. O sea, una CRF 4 y medio, CRF E, no podríamos decir, no, una CRF matriculada en duro. Una locura, tío. Una locura, una locura. Y con eso por la calle. Pues por la calle entiendo que porque vayas a Cenduro o lo que sea, el tramo de calle. Qué locura, tío. Qué locura. Porque, claro, él sí tenía arranque a pata, no me corriente, claro. Una pasada, una pasada. A mí me encantaría, tío. Me encantaría. Y. Por la calle. Por probarle una vena más la vida, tío. De manera legal, pero sería una pasada, tío. Una pasada. El Kaplan este hace unas máquinas muy, muy, muy buenas. Muy buenas, sí, señor. Sí, señor. Gaby Producer